Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As promised, um, I managed to you know, scrape a few uh, dollars together from a uh, little Christmas bonus, which was uh, very unexpected and very nice to see, uh, given the year, you know, 2020. But yeah, uh, got some funds together and I'm gonna do a little surprise uh, Christmas video, uh, Christmas bonus adding funds to new people, getting some more traders. Uh, but first, what's a, what's a festive video without? A Christmas hat. Let's get into it. Okay, so the last time you saw my video, um, you would have noticed I had Free traders had J Nemesis, Renoi nine seven four, and we also had Alex. Um, we had Alex up until yesterday, actually. I've had him all this time. Um, he was at a, just shy of three percent for you know since I started copying him, which um, I can't remember the exact time, but it's somewhere between three to six months. Um, probably, probably three months. I think Jane Nemesis was on the six month um, area. So yeah, so um, I got rid of Alex. Um, not that he wasn't doing good. Um, I think he had about 40, 40, 42 percent for the year. Um, there was a few red dips, um, and generally speaking, forty percent is fantastic. Um, and he, he dealed in only ETFs, from what I remember. But it's just, um, let, let, me, let me show you what I mean. So let me go to my virtual portfolio. Okay, as you can see here, this is my virtual portfolio. And I've got uh, quite a few people. I've got quite a few people here. Um, the majority of them I put on about the 8th of November. Um, and about 30% of the people on here I put on about the about the 12th of December. And then I put on a few more a few days ago. So it's a bit mixed, so it's hard to sort of tell exactly who's who. Um, I'm just gonna be a quick rundown. So it sounds great. He was put on November the 8th, uh, 20%, which is you know very good. Um, so he, he was a contender for my next one, but, um, I mean, he's made 140% for the year and he's got uh, a red dip of, I don't know, 6%. So he seems very risky, a little too risky, but I was very impressed with what he's been doing. Now, the main contender for what I was, you know, the next money that I'm going to put on was between Return Invest and Hugo. Let me just quickly open these two up, give you a very quick rundown. So return invest, 93% for the year. You know, very, very healthy, uh, you know, loss wise. He's, he's only got a little tiny loss there. So very good. Very, very good. Okay. And then the next guy, Hugo. He has a very similar stats for 2020 uh, that are to that of Return Invest. So it's got 84 for the year, also a very low uh, loss, only one, and it's very tiny. Um, and he, he only started trading in March, so he's got another two months here, which you know you could argue could make up to that 93% and be essentially uh, another Return Invest, like a in regards to at least the 2020 stat wise, another sort of contender. So I was going for a return invest. He was going to be my next one, but I, I found out recently that he has reached his annual AUM. Um, so no one can actually copy him. And his words were until probably uh, April 2021 or even after. So to me that, even though I had my eyes on him particularly, um, I don't know why, maybe it's just something to do with like the photo and there's too much like pink and red going on here. 
I don't know, it's, I guess it's kind of like Pokemon cards in a way for me. <laughs> a little bit like uh, like having the pictures, uh, you've seen all the pictures all the time and the names, so it's, you know, so you got to have a nice picture. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it, it, it wasn't mainly because of that, but that was something, um, an illogical sort of thing that was happening. So Return of Us was the guy, but then obviously that happened. So, okay, fine, I've got Hugo, that's cool. So today is going to be between Hugo very nice, 84%. Could uh, you know, potentially go up way past 90 if he did the first few months. Let's have a quick look at what he's doing. So his highest investment is 4%. And you know, he's got relatively quite a few going on. He's still got 10% of his balance left. So quite a lot going on here. Uh, the more the more things you're investing in, in my opinion, uh, the better, the more uh, better risk management having more more things you're investing in to me. So that's Hugo. Um, and then Jazzy. Jazzy is another out of three contenders for this time around uh, investment. Jazzy, um, I found out about him. I searched for him very recently, definitely within the last eight days, and I only put him on this virtual portfolio three or four days ago, I think. So I would, I would expect, as there's three different tiers of this virtual portfolio, there's uh, November, and then December, and then three days ago, I was put people on randomly, um, who I found at the time, wanted to see how they would get on. Considering he was one of the very most recent ones, I thought he'd be in this area here, the bottom five, or the bottom six, because these bottom five or six were, all within the last three days. So I put all these guys on a few days ago and you know, expectedly they're at the bottom because I've only just put them on. All of these six here, but Jazzy has um, he's shot right to the top 12% in like three or four days. Initially you'd hear that and think, well, well that's super risky. Let's have a look at what he's doing. quite a large amount, so that's good for me. Okay. Let's have a look at his stats. So he only started in April. That was a very tiny win there. You, can, you can't really hardly see it compared to the other greens, but this, he did start in April. Um, and 62%, no losses, you know, fantastic. Uh, obviously, there's not too much history to go on, because it's only, you know, started in April this year. Um, I always love having a bit of history there, just to give an extra, <clears throat> extra idea of what they're capable of and how they handle themselves as a, as a trader. But, um, I mean, look, he, for December, he's done... I'm not, not like this next bit, I'm not sure how it works or what's happened. But he's got 11.37% for December. Okay. And I only started copying him on my virtual portfolio, yeah, you know, three, four, five days ago. So how has he got 12%? Regardless of how he's got more on the virtual, I don't know. But somehow, he's bypassing the whole synchronization process. Um, you know, when you're copying a trader brand new, they've already got all their trades open. Let's say 60 trades, they've got 60 trades open. If you just come in out of nowhere and say, right, I'm gonna start copying you. You know, they're in a different position. They've been holding it longer. They might have some like super negative reds, like minus 20% red, they might have a, a trade that's positive 40. It's gonna take time as a guess, I'd say, you know, it depends on the trader, it depends on what they're trading um, and when they close it and open it. But typically I'd say between two and eight months, you take that amount of time to fully synchronize up so you're on the same level as them. So then whatever they make in the following year, say 60% for 2021 or 2022, you would also make the same as long as you're only copying that person in this hypothetical. 
So for him only to go on a few days ago, I don't know how he's f fully bypassed the sync process. Maybe he's just trading that often. I, I don't know. I haven't looked that much into it. But that I've never seen that. That is uh, crazy. And I'm going to take advantage of it while I can um, to get 12% in... Uh, I don't know. I might be taking a risk, but my gut feeling on the same go of it. So, Hugo and Jazzy. Um, Yuji is doing very well. He's a, a fourth contender. Um, do, 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 do. Now, so Vessi was originally, maybe like 10 days ago, one of the top contenders. Um, I'll show you what he's doing. So let's click on what he's doing. Uh, let's do his stats. So he actually started in May and he's already got 124%. Very good, very risky. 210 copies, nice steady incline. What's he doing? So he's got a reasonable amount, not, not too many going on. But the thing that struck me is when he closes, how often he closes his trades. Um, I mean, look at these ridiculously high numbers, over 100, over 1,000. Um, I prefer, because of the whole synchronization process that I just mentioned, saying it could take between two and eight months as a, as a guesstimate. With these kinds of numbers implying that he's not closing certain trades as often as I personally would like, would indicate that I would have to be closing these for him. Maybe every six months, maybe every year, close, recopy. Um, that's not good for the resync process. Um, there's a few other things that I read, you know, what he does and, you know, uh, so no, <laughs> no, I've uh, decided against him for now, even though he's, he's very good. Um, machine learning is interesting. So this guy is doing everything by AI. Um, artificial intelligence is telling him what to trade, when to start it, when to stop it, why, you know, all this stuff. So it's very interesting. This, so this guy is effectively a uh, representative of a robot, which is uh, interesting to me. First loss being, uh, first month being uh, a minus 5% loss is not a good start, but I'm copying him, uh, sorry, not copying him, I'm watching him just to see what happens. I mean, I, would, I want to see at least a whole years of data just to see, just because it's interesting to me. I've, I've, this, this is new and fascinating. So let's go to our, our Star Wars list, which is like the thing I've created just so I can see who, who's next. Got it between four people. Hugo, oh, we didn't, we didn't look at this guy. Um, let, let's, let's have a look at the other two. Let's look at, at um, let's look at UG and I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I'm just calling him Jo. All right, let's go for Jo. Uh, Ninety-four percent started in April. Apart from the first loss, minus two. Very good. A nice um, steepish incline, almost a thousand um, copies. And what is he doing? Oh, he's not got too many. He's not got too many things open. Um, but I don't know, a bit of a gut feeling why I wanted to add him is uh, nothing really. You know, I can't give you some solid evidence or anything. Yuji. Now, Yuji has got good stats for 2020. All green, 85% except for a little loss here. So UG is, is a very good contender, if you like. So it comes down to four people. Let's go to real portfolio. Right, so cut a long story short. I got rid of Alex. He had $230 on him. He was doing good, nothing wrong with him. 40%, I'm just being greedy and stupid, I think, by wanting to have, at least whilst I've got quite low funds, I mean, I may have just started this in January 2020, 
I don't have much money. I'd like to attempt to get more money before being more uh, careful with it, if that makes sense. So I got rid of Alex because there's, there's uh, people I prefer on my list more for now than Alex. That's not to say that I won't have Alex back again because there's really n not a lot that I can see that's wrong with how he trades. But for now, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Alex, but you, you need to make some room for two new guys. Um, so yeah, that, g that gave $230 back into my account. And what I was planning to do, and that I already acted on yesterday before I recorded this, was 100 of that dollars put on Jay Nemesis because uh, I love what he's been doing. I, uh, you know, I watch his his YouTube videos and streams, and I, I just, I, you know, I've I've got a, a spot in my in my trader heart uh, for Jay. I, I like what he's doing, so I put another hundred on him. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got uh, three hundred and thirty dollars on Jay Nemesis at the moment. Um, originally it was two fifty. I put a hundred on, being three fifty. Um, and then due to some calculations, I figured out I don't actually need um, the other $20 that I had on him originally because that was allocated, just sat there doing nothing, waiting for new traders, which he recommended to do. But after some calculations, um, I figured now after I put this money on, um, I I don't think I needed that extra 20 so I've taken it off. So it's 330 and then for Renoi, um, ideally he needs 600 to copy everything. So the more the better. So at the moment he's on 270. So these two are good. I'm happy with Jay Nemesis and Renoi. Um, so yeah, we've got 400 now. I, it was like 199.85 uh, after everything was said and done. Um, and now I've put on another $201. So I've got enough for two new people. And I'm going to put on two new people. So... Let's decide who we're going to do. I definitely want Jazzy. I'm almost certain I want Jazzy. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at Hugo. I, don't know, I really like what Hugo is bringing to the table. 10 years of experience in investment banking and private equity. He's got an MSc in management from HEC Paris. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just. <clears throat> I mean, how can you not like that? 84%. You know, this, as I said in the previous video, that September, October, or was it November? Somewhere around here. It caught people off guard. It caught me off guard. It caught all the, well, most of the traders I was copying off guard. Um, you know, <clears throat> at the very tail end of the month, everything was going so well. And then suddenly something happened and just very bad, bad things happened. So um, for him to pull from it like that. In fact, as well, I mean, even though he only started in March, he must have just caught the beginning of this, you know, the bad Corona related stuff that happened in March, April. And he still did well. He's, he's got no history from like 2019, but uh, I, I really like what Hugo's doing. Uh, so let's go back to Jazzy. Again, I like what's happened with the rethink stuff that he's already, it's 12% in like three days. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening or why, but I have to get on the Jazzy train as, I'm not going to find it, but I was, I was reading some comments and I was like, everyone uh, everyone needs some jazzy in their life. They need to get on the jazzy train. <laughs> I think I'm going to board the jazzy train as well. So let's keep jazzy open. Let's keep Hugo open. 85% of a little loss. Let's see what he's trading. Not a lot. Mm -mm 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 So he's got the potential based on this year. I mean, if he had started doing these three months as well, that could be really high, maybe too high. 
maybe too risky. Uh, he's not got too much. I don't know. I mean, to be honest, my gut feeling is Jazzy and Hugo. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Jazzy and Hugo. There we go, Jazzy, 200. Copy open traits, 200. Go. Hugo, copy, 200. Copy open traits, go. There we go. We've got four lovely traders now. J Nemesis, Renoi974, Jazzy, and Hugo. Cool. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Bitcoin as well? That was quite interesting, I thought. And it's good to know that Jay was on board the, the Bitcoin train and he pulled out quite a lot as soon as it started going down. So he's on it as always, which is brilliant. But yeah, I mean, Who would have thought 2020 in March, it hits like three and a half thousand. And in the same year, it touched 24,000. That's like times 6.8, 680% on a one times leverage. But yeah, that's interesting. That's cool. <clears throat> I just, uh, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on Bitcoin? Um, how how it's gone up so much? Is it exciting? Have you put some money on it? Have you made a little money from it? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about Bitcoin, how it's gone up so high in one year. I mean, obviously it did that in 2017 as well, but to do that again, almost, not to the same scale, but that's something, that's something to talk about. That's uh, pretty exciting. But yeah, that does it for today's video. Got four new beautiful traders. Um, quite excited about that. Yeah. I hope you all have happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys are up to. Um, whether you're trading on eToro or whether you just want to tell me about your Christmas plans, your holiday plans. But yeah, it's an exciting time. I have a fantastic Merry Christmas and Merry Holidays. And I'll see you in the new year. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Cheers. Bye.